Good evening, I'm Dana Tyler. With violence against Asian Americans increasing across the country, leaders on Long Island have created a hate crimes task force. CBS 2's Jennifer McLogan reports Suffolk County law enforcement is pledging action. Wee Jong is galvanizing her Long Island Asian American community amid continuing pain. In Plainville, um, a Uber driver, he refused to take a Asian faced person go back to China even though he's a American too. Our message is very simple. We will not tolerate hate in Suffolk County. Suffolk DA Tim Sini flanked by eight assistant district attorneys with special training in bias related offenses launched a special unit to prosecute hate crimes. Having a standalone hate crime unit is very unique. Besides jail, those convicted will receive anti-bias education in collaboration with the Human Rights Commission. Very uh, painful, whether it's female, male, uh, transgender, uh, black, brown, Asian, it escalates very quickly. The task force comes on the heels of mandatory police reform across the state. Victims say hate crimes and bias in policing perpetuate a message of intolerance and discrimination that reverberate throughout an entire community. Recent Justice Department statistics reveal black drivers in Suffolk County were four times more likely than whites to be pulled over in traffic stops and Hispanic drivers twice as likely. We're police different over here. They want to pull us out of our car and search us. I was scared. It's very alarming. I speak from personal experience, the color of my skin, but statistics do not lie. The diversity that exists in this county is a strength of ours that we celebrate. Urging citizens report each and every hate crime, pledging all will be investigated and brought to justice. From Suffolk County, Long Island, Jennifer McLogan, CBS 2 News.